Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're back on our Project SC400 and I wanted to show you guys something today. We're working underneath the hood and I'm just doing some harness repair. These 30 year old harnesses get heat cycled a lot and broken and I had touched on it before when we were looking at a junkyard um, harness and there were some broken connectors and I'm doing some repair on my fuel injector. So this is for fuel injector. We're working with cylinder number one. And you can see over here on cylinder three, I actually just replaced that fuel injector clip for the harness because um, these little tabs tend to break off when you get in there. Once you touch them, if, I, if we were to take that one off, it would absolutely break right now. Everything's been heat cycled multiple times. And um, instead of just having this plugged back in like that, and um, then kind of just loose because it can't clip back in because the clip is broken and you can see right there that the connector itself is cracked. So this is what we're gonna be doing. These are some replacement fuel injector harness clips. Now it comes with a wire where you could snip it and solder these new wires on, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna depin this connector. Then we're gonna depin the connector on the car right here and just reinstall this clip now, if you look at this clip right here that little white square so this little white square in this connector is the locking clip that holds our pins in place well part of the locking clip so we have to get that un disconnected first of picks we're going to use this pick right here some needle nose pliers there's a little divot right here where we can just slide in there see how it slides that out i we can take the needle nose pliers and that's our little locking clip right there. Now, if you look down in there, now you can do this with a little pick or whatnot. I happen to have this tool right here. It's just on a whole bunch of different depinning tools. But honestly, what you need is just something small. There you go. You can see right in there, this little plastic connector right here needs to be popped up. I'm gonna Push right on the top of this guy. Pop them up and then this actually just depresses as this goes in, it will have it right here. So it pushes the pin. Now we can just slide that guy right out. Do it to the other side. Pretty easy. This one's taken a little bit more, but boom, you'll get it. Now the trick is we got to do that to the one on the car. All right, and over here back on the car, we're gonna orientate this. This is the bottom. So our little clip goes on the bottom of the injector. So just remember that when we take it out, putting everything back together. And we have to do the same thing over here. The good news about this is this one's garbage. So it's going to break, it's going to crack as we depin it. And you can be a little rougher with it. And it'll disintegrate while you're doing it and get the stuff out pretty easy when you slide the other one in. All right, so we're gonna pull this pin out the same way. And yeah, it's just disintegrating as we pull it out. Yeah, push on it, it just disintegrates. Let's see if we can pop, yeah. All right, so we got a yellow wire here. That goes to the left of the plug. And then that one pops out. That one goes to the right. And then that's what's left of our plug there. Here's what's left of our OEM plug, as you can see. Seen better days. Orientate this one to the bottom like so let's pop our plugs back in there slide your uh, plugs back in yellow one on the left our black and orange went on the right slide them back we want to orientate the pins the same way they came out where our little clip goes right back behind that and holds the wire in place all right guys and i'm gonna just gonna pop this back in place here Hear a little click you can feel a little click i'm just, there you go and then Boom, we've got our clips back in place. We'll put our little white locking tab back in there and this one's good to go for our repair there. We didn't have to cut any wires and not splice anything. We don't have to worry about this falling off. And it really didn't cost that much or take that much time to replace this. Now we did two. All right guys, we've got our connector back in place. And 
with it. Just boom. Now we don't have to worry about it falling off. And we're good to go. And we can take it back off and it's not gonna disintegrate on us. Don't forget to plug your injectors back in because you don't want to uh, fire this thing up and have a miss. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the tools that you might need when you're depinning and repinning connectors. I've just got a set of my basic picks that I run just right in the top drawer. Just what we're gonna, you know, this guy comes in real handy just to flick little uh, connectors out. And of course this guy, these are a little bit more interesting. This is just a Amazon, eBay special depinning tool and most of what you need out of it, something like this is just like this really let's see if I can get it thin small little uh, tool to pop the little pins out all these other ones are super specialty you might never run into anything like that super duper specialty what you really need and what I should do is just change just all these really thin ones on one keychain because, uh, like I said, most of the time you're not going to need these. But if you do, I guess you'll be glad you have them. And this is the ones we're working with today. These are standard connector 23, 30. It's, these connectors are found on a lot of different cars. A lot of them, uh, you'll find a lot of similar. And of course, this one's Toyota. So there you go. Hope this helps you out. Links in the comments down below. Let me know. Good luck on your project. There's a whole bunch of different clips that we can replace on here. That's just what we're doing today. Hope that helps you guys out, make your car a little bit nicer and keep it uh, that much more reliable. Because when you buy and mess with these old cars, everything's on the table that can go wrong and it will go wrong. And little stuff like this helps uh, eliminate any future problems. Talk to you guys on the next one. Leave a comment down below if you've done this, if you're gonna find this helpful or interesting or what other projects we can do to the SC that help you out. Uh, make sure you're enjoying your car to the full potential. So I know what it's like. All I have is old cars, and uh, you got to know how to work on them, or they'll bite you in the ass. See you guys.